Welcome back, everybody. This is your host, Ron. I know what you play for Ron's Gaming Show. This is Wild Arms 2. This is part 7. Let us continue on our adventure. Last episode, we met Valeria, who kind of helped us, and now we're going to do on the first mission. So let us go. I'm ready. We'll have you come along on our first mission. Your first mission is to join it with another ARMS member. Another comrade? Who could that be? Where do we meet up? I will show you. The other party already knows you're coming. All you have to do is go there and meet up. Understood. Oh, Ron. Could I see your weapon? My weapon? Just show him your gun. We expect there to be fighting at the meeting point. We want you to be prepared for anything. You seem to be keeping this in good shape. What? What was that for? What was that shot? What happened? This man is a traitor. A wretch the treacherous Ron. What? Look, uh, here are your orders. You will escort the prisoner Ron. Escort him to prisoner island of Elizabeth. Whatever. Really don't want to say it. Irving and... Oh, no. Irving set us up. This sucks. What are we gonna do? I can't live in prison. Shoot, why'd this happen to me? Open up, let me out of here. I didn't do anything. If you check it out, I'll be cleared. Everyone says they're innocent when they hear they're going going to when they're being sent to Isabel. That's because it's an isolated prison island. Once you go, you never come out alive. What's wrong? From the beginning he planned to trick me. Don't worry. When we set get to Isabel prison, I'll prove your innocence. You need to be patient until then. Hey, almost there. Now get out. Feast your eyes on a lo lovely Isvale prison. It's so awful. Pretty cool. Looking not cool as in cool, cool. Yeah. To you, hardened criminals, so despised by the public, welcome to Isvale Prison. As the first convict here, I'm now ruler of this independent domain. In other words, I am the warden. As all you criminals are able to see, Isvale is an isolated prison island. In other words, it's a natural fort. While it wasn't terribly hard for you convicts to get here, it's impossible to get out alive. Once you used to it, life here isn't too bad. Being on the outside isn't so hot. Here, you trouble only useless fools. How about spending your remaining years enjoying yourself here? The longer you are here, the better your life will be. I've got 214 years left on my sentence. Hope you don't have fantasies about escaping yet. And of course, if you win my favor, becoming prison warden isn't a dream. The fact that this island is an independent domain stems from that very fact. Ha ha ha! That guy has a weird sense of humor. And this is coming from me. Anyway, I need to go explain everything to the warden Dokodian. Let me take care of it. You should just stay put and lay low. It's best to take these things slow. So you're used to this stuff like this? Well, sort of. When I was little, I pulled a lot of pranks and got locked in the closet for it. Wow, that's too bad. Regardless, we were disarmed and I have no weapon. I have no intention of doing anything drastic. But, how do I explain it? If I really wanted, I could use my magic to blast through in a second. No, 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 it's not me, but we can do use this. Definitely, I'll retrieve your confiscated weapons. Lay low and be patient, she says. It's up to your circumstances. Hmm. Nilka. Thanks for earlier. You tried to cheer me up, right? 
Be careful. Okay. Let's do this. And it's not that way. Let's go this way. Oh, I think we have to do... No. Kill it. Now let's break out of this prison. Oh, these things are annoying. Watch what happens. Yeah. I believe it's... This one? No, this one? Yeah, that one. Killberry, and that should be it. Let's upgrade the hairband. Yeah, those are good. Let's put that back on, though. Might as, might as well give her a few more vitality. Okay, let's continue. No more dilly dallying. Oh! Enemy! Oh, look at these things! Oh no, I forgot to swap spells. Oh well, these things are weak to spark. But we don't have spark, so we're gonna have to... have to do stuff on our own. And this is gonna be tough, isn't it? Oh no. Oh, I thought that was different. Let's try and freeze it. Let's see if freezes it. Gimlet. Ow. Oof, good amount of damage. To her. Nah, she isn't weak to it. I don't think she's weak to flame either. He. It. Eh, whatever. That was sad. When I get back in town, I need to visit the magic magic shop. Oh, let's do that. I think we gotta kill this. Oh, look, inmates breaking out, stuff like that. Uh, not there yet, don't go there yet. I think there's this thing over here. No, a rebellion. Stupid gun things. Stupid random encounters. Oh, Diglett. I mean, Beast Pillar. These are weak to freeze, I believe. I think. Yeah, freeze. Let's pray they are weak to freeze. I think they are weak to freeze. Well, oh, somewhat right. Oh well. I guess there's more susceptible to magic damage. I believe there should be a console over here. Huh. And I think there should be a door over here some goodies. Oh, never mind. Whatever. Oh, come on! Ugh! The stupid diglet things in their slowdown. Okay, this is easy. And then, since these guns are 
totally prehistoric and they can't turn. Just hit it right there. I don't know, kill it anyway. I think the confiscated gear should be through here. Oh, yep, there it is. Uh, what? Did Ron have a mechanical lug? Oh, who cares? I'll take it all. Lots of berries. Okay, meet you back at Ashley's. Until then, everybody. Goodbye. I recommend you do this before you go. It since he's like a healing thing. Just heal up. First, you gotta go to your jump card, and boom, it's all done. Huh? These gear isn't ours. Some of it isn't ours. Let's go! Oh yeah, remember that door I told you that we'd be back at? Let's go. For it! Uh, and never mind. Wow, with Ron, that was super easier. I believe... yeah, we have to go this way. Bonk. Okay, see, this is why you need Ron. You see that down there? That guy will just shoot at you if you walk in there. So just do this. Um, maybe? And he gets spiked in the head and dies a horrific brain death. I can see the future. This will totally annoy me in the future. Something should be in here. I think. Another battle! Um, did I go back? I swear, if I went back, I am going to flip. Yeah, I went back! Me and my sense of direction. Nope, sorry about that. Where man, I'm getting ugh. Note to self, never record at nine o'clock at night ever again. I think I went Yeah, it is this way. Ah! Didn't see that. Quit shooting! Hold your fire! Oh, you jerkwad! Put 
put that in a place where you have to get hit. Ah, jerk wads. Two armed men. Wait, what? Who's in here? Oh, come on, answer. Aren't you going to run away? Were you sent by Irving? What? I'm asking you, were you sent by Irving? Do you know Irving? We're not communicating well here, but it has to be you guys. How can you say that with certainty? You've got some... such baby face for someone locked up in here. Uh, thanks. Did I say something to offend you? Those white gloves are mine. Could you hand them over? There's no time, right? Who the heck are you? Death row inmate number 6666. 666. Gonzi Evans. I'm one of the Arms members, chosen by Irving. Let's go. Huzzah! Third member with the boot. One of my favorite characters. Design-wise, I guess. Not really story-wise. It's kind of weird. Gah, 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 gah. Then that's why you need him. Foul all spells, use the foot. Later on, um, Brad turns into sort of kind of useless. Uh, ability wise. Here we go. Mini carrot. There should be something more in here. Guess not. Huh. Weird. I'm gonna go back somewhere. I believe we come up here and now we're gonna need Brad for this. And wham! That rusty door just got unhinged. I'll see how good we are on time. Okay! Let's see if there's anything in here. Eh, guess not. Just lots of books. No, there should be something over here. Healberry. And the crest. Awesome! But sadly, oh so sadly, it is time to wrap this episode up. So, this has been Ron and Roger 3 with Fawn's Gaming Show. This has been Wild Arms 2, Part 7, Tune for Part 8, where we go onwards and escape the stupid prison and get out. What's our next mission? What does Irving have to say for himself for this treachery of sorts? And what about Gonzi? What does he do? Or Brad? But whatever. Subscribe, like, comment, share, favorite with your friends, share on Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe. This all helps me. And I just love you guys for it. Please leave feedback. If something irritates you, just leave it. If you want to say hello to me, uh, just comment. Do whatever. So, whatever. This is my watch for free. Tune for part eight. Okay. See you later. Goodbye.